Hello everyone, I am Virginia Pradhan, the host of Courageous Leadership with Virginia Pradhan. We are so glad to have you here listening or reviewing our Courageous Leadership with Virginia Pradhan each Wednesday and Saturday at 10 o'clock Central Time on Spotify, Podbean, Apple Podcast, EDIFI Podcast Network, and of course you can watch our view, our podcast on uh, our YouTube channel. We are glad you are here. Thank you. Thank you for your desire to listen, learn, and to be trained to live free and to live a life of significance and success, no matter the circumstances. Many of you ask me after reading my memoir, Saving My Assassin, or in our coaching session, or even sending me questions online, how to find hope in a hopeless land or culture. I am going to outline for you the steps that you need to follow. But if you need more training in group or individual training, feel free to go to virginiaprodanbooks.com slash freedom coaching. Hope you read my memoir, Saving My Assassin, or you'll read. Feel free to go and buy the book. If you um, have never read the book, you can buy it directly at virginiapradanbooks.com slash product slash book. You will be encouraged by how God has been training me to find his hope in a hopeless land in Romania and even now in America. And you can do the same. I believe you. We are living, experience a challenging time indeed. Many people feel powerless, angry, confused, or defeated. And everyone, no exception, is looking for hope, for a ray of hope. And they are looking to how to find the hope. Today, I am going to share with you how you can find and experience the power of the infinite hope and to be a ray of hope. How to walk in the temporary darkness of this hopeless land with the infinite hope in you. The uncertainty surrounding us makes us feel that everything is spinning around, out of control. Daily, I'm contacted by people experiencing loneliness, fear, anger, anger, depression, or seeing their lives spinning out of, of control financially, emotionally, or spiritually. If you feel the same, you are not alone. But there is hope. I'm here to help you. My help comes from my own experience, from my own life. I walk in your shoes and I'm walking like you right now under the same circumstances. And this book will, will explain to you. For those of you who read my memoir, Saving My Assassin, I was surrounded in socialist Romania by outrageous circumstances at home as a child, or later fighting against the socialist government for freedom, freedom of religion and human rights, or arriving in America empty-handed, not knowing one word in English, left to raise three children as a single mom, or now, as many of you having my business closed for COVID-19 for several months, now a new circumstances navigated through the uncertainty of inflation, war around the world, or life changing in every part of the world around us. But no matter what, I always fought and I'm fighting daily to win from out-of-control circumstances around me. I fight 
in order to find God's blessing in joy and joy in my out of control circumstances. Yes, we can do that because I'm determined to accomplish with God my mission in life, mission of hope and victory, no matter the circumstances around me. I'm here to outline for you how you too can find the hope and the power of the infinite hope and to become the ray of hope for yourself and for others around you. Because in order for us to fight a win and win against uncertainty around us and the hopeless land, we have to win first the battle inside of us. If you need more help, or training. After my presentation, please go to virginiaprodanbooks.com slash freedom coaching. Tell us your needs and we will help you to build the warrior in you and daily to be transformed into the ray of hope for you and for others around you. Yes, you can do that. You can Find the infinite hope in God and he can transform you into a ray of hope and an encourager no matter your circumstances. I guarantee I have done it for years and help others to do the same. I know you can do it. I can train you too. I can show you how. Under the stress of this hopeless culture, you can get stronger, bold, and courageous and conquer your fear or your stress. How to find your value in God, not in your circumstances or what people said to you, told you, or had done to you, or what you can do now or in the future because your value is in you, not in what other people are saying. How to stop suppressing your fear and let go, release the fear to God and let him change you into a ray of hope. How to practice daily your new story of hope in order to erase the negative story out of control story in your life. How to kill the giant attacking you, anger, uncertainty, wanted to kill you, and to kill that giant now as a baby. Don't let it grow. And how to enter into Christ giving greatness to build and release in you the ray of hope. How to be kind to yourself in this process, because it is a process. How for that, you need not only to believe, but to practice, to act by your faith, even in this hopeless land. Make no mistakes. Motivation without action is only delusion. You need to feed your mind with power, with God's word. He's giving greatness, wisdom. Exercise your mind daily and take courageous actions. It is possible. The responsibility is yours. Don't wait for someone else to do it for you. As a ray of hope, you will Give God's hope not only to yourself, but to others. You need to let Christ break the fear in you, and that will change your life. There is not enough just to think of hope. You must take immediate decisions and act and daily have actions. You are created to manage your circumstances, not to be managed by your circumstances, even in a hopeless land. Otherwise, you will lose and you will lose badly. Believe me. Those steps 
when implemented correctly, will change your life. Even in this hopeless land, you will become a ray of hope in your own life, your family, your business, your church, and your community. Please hear me. We are at the crossroad in America. We live in a dark world and culture. But in our current struggles, there are God's given blessings for each of us. We need to discover them. God is training us for a greater future behind every pain or suffering or struggle that you might experience. There is a lesson for you, for us to be learned and a blessing or a reward God has prepared for us. But we must find those blessings and accept them, learn from them, and bless. let God bless us and to bless others, and to be transformed by his hope into a ray of hope. We need to put on the armor of light, God's life, even if that means to be countercultural. America needs bold and courageous people like never before, ray of hope kind of people, and you can be one. People like you and me seeing hope now, reflecting hope even in a hopeless land and being the hope now, the hope of Christ to everyone. It's important. Having the vision of God's victory first in us, beyond being the ray of hope before we see it accomplished in front of us and everywhere around us. Otherwise, we will lose and we will lose badly. We don't want that. Those steps, when implemented correctly, will change your life, I guarantee. And you can be transformed, not only find the hope, but be transformed into a ray of hope in your own life, in your family, business, church, community, and for people around the world. Only as a ray of hope, we can walk in this temporary darkness without losing the infinite hope, God's hope. Faith is more than merely feeling or saying God is telling the truth when he speaks in his Bible. Faith involves our actions. God called us to walk by faith, not by talk or feelings. Our faith in him must be reflected in what we do in the light of what we believe. By faith, God's involvement in your life, my life, should be a reality for all to see, not just a theory or a philosophy that we know or we have it in our mind. So to make this practical in your life, here is my question to you. What stops you from making this decision or from taking this action to find the infinite hope of God that will transform you into a ray of hope? Share your answer in the comments below. Or if you need more help or training, go to virginiaprodanbooks.com slash freedom coaching. We love to help you. We, we can help you learn to connect your faith to your daily actions, to believe, trust, and worship God, not because of your circumstances, but despite them, and act by faith as a ray of hope. Please, choose to be a ray of hope and be patient with yourself, because this is a journey, a process. And 
imagine a year from now. What could your life or your family, your health, your business, your community, or your country be like if you start today? I'm here to help you. I'm here to encourage you step by step. If you need more training, group or individual coaching, please go to virginiaprodanbooks.com Freedom Coaching. It is important for you and for your family. Do not settle for less. We can help you turn your setbacks into beautiful, amazing comebacks. Stay in the fight. Lead courageously in Christ's power. If you want to learn more about how I stay in the fight by saving my assassin, my memoir, by going to virginiaprodanbooks.com slash product slash book. This book will encourage you to see how God equipped me to continually share his hope and do my part in the fight for here in Romania and here in America and now around the world as I speak. Remember that God wants to do the same thing in your life. If you want to invite me to speak at your events, please go to virginiaprodanbooks.com slash invite Virginia. I would love to meet you and be part of your events. Until our next Courageous Leadership with Virginia Prodan podcast, each Wednesday and Saturday at 10 o'clock Central Time, you can listen to our podcast on Spotify, Heartbeat, Apple Podcast, Edific Podcast Network, and of course, you can watch it, uh, we can watch our podcast on YouTube channel. Keep in touch. Send us your questions. We love to answer your question. We love to help you, train you, and answer all your concern. Your life is important. You are here for a reason, and we love to help you. Until next time, keep in touch, and may God bless you. Bye-bye.